Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox, basically a virtual machine. So go to New, and then uh, create a new OS type, name it Windows XP, and once you name it XP, it usually does come up. Now I'm going to change my RAM to 512. I don't recommend doing this if you only have one gig of RAM because it will like take away half of your computer's memory. It's not too good. So create a new hard disk, just click next to it, that's usually what I do. Um, yeah. So, I'm doing like, I'm recording this after I'm done. So basically that's why. Wow, that's a really weird zoom. It's kind of slow. I was weird. Anyways, you'll see that. Now, you can either put it in your disk drive or select the ISO file, which is what I'm going to do. Because ISO file is going to install faster than it will trying to read it from your disk drive. So basically I'm just kind of searching for that right now. And it takes me a minute because I failed. Um, There's backups from all of my CDs that I has. Yes, I has CDs. Um, so once you select the ISO, you click next and next. So yeah. Now it's... I kind of skipped through the uh, running part and this is the installer. So this is, you're just going to install it basically like you normally would install Windows XP. Um, select it, make sure you partition it. This is where I sit here and click enter like 12 times trying to figure out why it won't install and I forgot I have to um, partition it and make an actual drive. I usually go to NTFS quick to uh, format it really quick and then it usually goes fast. Um, speeding through here, um, no, how many times does that come up in my video? We should play a game, we should guess that. So now that it's installed, uh, basically you need to go install the guest editions. You can do that by going to devices and install guest editions. Now this is basically installing the drivers from Windows, or not from Windows, from VirtualBox. It has its own drivers and that's basically what it's doing. So um, you can set at, set it at your right screen resolution, get sound, get all that. Now, um, yeah, you're going to want to install these just because that's, it's really important. It's just kind of how it's, uh, it's set up and it's basically what it, like installing a computer, installing Windows on a computer without actually installing the drivers, so it's just kind of useless. So reboot skip through that and then you, as you can see I can do that and now I can go full screen mode and it looks just like it would if I was actually running this natively on my computer so um yeah it's fun I guess it's a great way if you're gonna do different tips and tricks on different operating systems without having it on every computer so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and go to my website, www.lmf1.tk. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later, and goodbye.